Um, when I was uh, 22, I joined a band called Lines, and it was a Flemish uh, folk uh, band with three girls. We sang a lot of um, Flemish songs in a cappella, but also with the whole band. And uh, we were quite famous in Belgium. <laughs> so uh, I started with Flemish folk songs. I started playing guitar when I was uh, 13. And um, yeah, I started with this songbook I had. Uh, yeah, the Rolling Stones and Beatles. And and then I found a, a, a bluegrass record of my dad, and uh, I started. Uh, I, I really liked the music, and I started studying the bluegrass guitar. I had this uh, Linko, Linko uh, uh, tourne disc. Uh, you could you could put it on sixteen tour. And then, you, then there was just an octave below, so you can all the fast solos. I could really study just one octave. So it was uh, that. That's what what I started doing when I was uh, fourteen. We met uh, ten years ago. Um, then uh, we fell in love, <laughs> and then we sang together. Uh, he had a band called uh, Maxim Blewett and he asked me to, to join the band for one evening to sing a song with him, an uh, ABBA cover. And I stayed uh, at his house to rehearse and, and I she, stayed she there never went away. and never went, went uh, back home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, and then we had the same in, uh, uh, love for country and uh, so it was uh, love at first no it was uh, uh, obvious. Uh, obvious that we started the country bands because of that not at all we just we hardly knew each other and we just started singing she already sang, she, she already really knew country music, she, she already sang songs of Dolly Part and then all the things. The first song we sang was um, Love Hurts, uh, Emily Harris' Grand Parsons. So that was at the first night, evening. Mm. Uh, I think we go uh, really, uh, if we do... Like yesterday, we played in the Marco Canavi. Uh, with, with the two of us, we go more the traditional songs because you have the two voices, guitar. Sometimes she plays alto harp, and he plays the banjo and banjo a bit. So we go to the really rootsy things, uh, really traditionals or uh, songs we we made, but more in the really uh, the really old style, the Appalachian feeling. But if we, uh, like tonight at Olympia, we we with the whole band, so we are seven people. And then we, yeah, if we make music, we really go for, uh, we take that, uh, those influences, but we really search for a new, sound. new sounds and, and really experiment uh, with, yeah, to, yeah, to... It's less Make, less rootsy then. It's still very rootsy, but it's but, it's just yeah. It's like the guitarist, he comes from and he plays with front two for two. He has, <laughs> I mean, he's come from a whole other uh, uh, thing, and the drummer is uh, the bass player. It's all kind of different uh, musicians, so it gives an interesting melange. So uh, we, we did, last year we did a kind of a road trip. Uh, we went to Nashville and we went to New Orleans and we just with, with, our, with our friend Alain Drummer and our friend uh, Dirk, our manager. We just drove around and we, we visited uh, Jack White's uh, studio and we went in. He has this little, uh, old, really old, uh, it's called a voiceograph. It's like a, it looks like a phone booth. 
So you can record, you, can, you just have to put some money in it, and then you record, you can record. There's a guitar hanging there, so you can take the guitar. It's really various, so you have to look in this, and now we're the two of us, like really, it's like that. In the, and then you sing, you have one minute and a half, and then, uh, and, and then uh, a final is cut at the moment, and so you get, but it, it was, uh, it's from the 30s, 40s, I think. It's, it was meant for uh, yeah, soldiers. for soldiers who who, who could uh, uh, record their voice or say hello to their mom or to their beloved or to their love and and then you could uh, put it in an envelope and there was a mail a box and send it home. So it's really nice. It is really scratchy sound. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, it's really old school. It's it's it's. Uh, a lot of the records we listen to, they really uh, sound like that. It's a typical sound. It's a cr scratching and the, 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 the final... <laughs> so we really love that. So, uh, yeah, we did that and then we, uh, we used it on the... Uh, we, we made a record for a record, uh, record store day uh, last year and it's on that record. Yeah, there was... Uh, we were thinking about the future of the Broken Circle and, and we would really love to do it, to make more music, but it's a, yeah, it's a difficult a bit of a, you know, it's a, it's a lot of musicians there, two actors who are really doing a great job now, they, they every international career and so it's difficult to bring everybody together and it's not, it's, it's not enough time to get together and make music. And, and on the other, and also it's it's been a really nice adventure, and and now tonight at Olympia, it was we we were like okay maybe we should stop. That's a nice ending, Paris Olympia. <laughs> it was already full time, but now it's yeah. For, it's for, for me, that's that's uh, always been my uh, main. Uh, band with, with us, so we've been busy for ten years now. So it's uh, it's already. Yeah. Uh, it's last year, finished. last year we made uh, uh, no two years ago, almost two years ago, we had this uh, our first CD, Forever, it was called, and then uh, now we're working on a new one. It's gonna come out in February, and uh, we don't know the title yet. That's uh, but. It's nice, it's going to be a nice... Uh... The title is Broken Circle Breakdown. <laughs> <laughs>